guys, it's Cherie, and today I will be sharing with you my Sephora VIB Rouge haul. I'm really excited. Most of the things that I purchased I have here to share with you. There are a few things, however, that I purchased online that did not make it in time for this video, so I will insert a picture and just tell you what I got and why. Alright, first things first, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe, and if you're a returning person to my channel, thank you so much for your support, and thank you for returning to this channel to see this video. Alright, so this is one of my favorite types of videos, and you can look back at some of my previous hauls to see some of the other things that I've purchased in the past. Today I have a mix of skincare, body care, makeup, a lot of makeup. <laughs> Um, so I'm really excited to share these things with you. I suppose I'm going to probably start with the non-makeup item. Um, if you are new to these types of videos, Sephora is a store where you can purchase skincare, hair care, and makeup. And a few times a year they give us a discount. Now for VIB Rouge, it's a 20% off discount and so that's what I was able to utilize this sale. So excited. Okay. The first thing that I got is called Detox. It's by Sephora. It is a deep cleansing brush shampoo. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I really struggle with finding something that can really clean my brushes, especially my foundation brushes and my sponges. I find that since I'm a brown woman and my foundation and powders are darker, they often stain things. And so I've been really struggling with finding that perfect cleanser. And this one had some good ratings on Sephora's website, so I thought I'd give it a try. So hopefully it works really well. I will be testing it out at some point this week. All right. So the next thing that I got is actually a skincare item. It is called the Peace Out Dark Spots. It's 12 microneedling dots. This is what the box looks like. And basically, if you are a person that has acne, I am, um, you may get hyperpigmentation from the bumps as they go away. And so I typically get that in my chin area. Now, I do get hormonal acne, and when I do get acne, I do scar. So I'm really hoping that these work. They seem like such a quick, easy fix that um, I'm skeptical, <laughs> but I definitely want to try them. I actually got the acne dots as well, so if you have any flare-ups with acne, you're supposed to be able to put it on there at night and sleep with it. I'll insert a clip of that shopping um, ship list um, later in the video. Now, the next thing that I got is also a face item. It is the Rin Clean Skin Care Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30 Mattifying Face Sunscreen. Now, my children play baseball and we are outside a lot in the sun. And I do typically wear a hat and glasses, but I just feel like I want to be safe and make sure I'm covering my skin, protecting it all summer. I chose this because it's mattifying. I do not know anything about the brand. I don't know if it's any good, so I'm really hoping that it is. Um, but anyway I got this so hopefully it's a good product the next thing that I got that is a face skin type product is the bite beauty night lip therapy this one has pomegranate extract and it's agave now I have the regular agave mask and that one is really thick it's very challenging to spread it on the lips and especially in the winter time when it gets really cold in the tube it's hard to get it out of the tube this, however, is potted, and the, the product is really creamy and light and really easy to apply. Now, I really do enjoy this product. I definitely like it more than I like the Laneige Sleeping Mask. And the reason why is because with the Laneige Sleeping Mask, if you put too much, you burn your lips. I don't, I can't explain it. Well, like when I wake up in the morning, my lips feel chapped and dry and they sometimes hurt if I use too much. So that worried me a little bit. So I recently stopped using it. Um, and I purchased this. I've only used it twice, but I like it so far. It smells good. It feels slippery and nice on the lips. And so I'm really excited to have this. All right. The next thing in my haul is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum or Boom Boom, I'm not sure which one it's supposed to be called, Sol de Janeiro's Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. Now, I got this because I'm obsessed with the scent. Now, everything in their line that is the Bum Bum or Boom Boom scent um, really excites me. It makes me feel like I'm on vacation. It definitely screams summer. Um, and this is just a spray oil. It has the same scent as the lotions and the body mist but it has SPF and so I got this primarily for my arms and legs. So hopefully it's a good product and it works well and it's not just gimmicky or just a fragrance. Hopefully it actually does protect the skin. Really excited to have that. 
Next up, same brand, different product. I got the uh, Glow Motions Copacabana Bronze Glow Oil. Now I got this because I've been eyeballing it for a while and I noticed that they came out with some additional shades. And this one um, is very, very bronzy. And I got this over the Fenty Body Lava because I heard that that one's sticky and this one, I've already tested it, it is not sticky. It's really gorgeous. Let's see if I can put some on my hand so you can see what it looks like. It's locked. All right. So that's what it looks like. Very bronzy, very nice. You can kind of see how it blends into the skin. It smells so good. It smells just like the Bum Bum cream and spray. So pretty. I'm obsessed with this scent. So pretty much anything that they come out with in this scent, I will probably purchase. I actually have the other scented um, body creams that they have. There's one, it's blue, and that one smells like popcorn. I think it's supposed to smell like coconut, but it smells like popcorn. I like that one, but I prefer to use that like on my hands, not on my whole body. And then they have the acai one. I also have that one. Now that one actually smells like flowers. If you're a person that's sensitive to scents, I would skip that one. If I use too much, and I have really bad allergies, if I use too much, I start sneezing a lot after a while. So um, that one's not my favorite, and unfortunately I bought the Big Daddy in that one, but I have to use it, so before I can buy any more, I have to use that up. All right, next, I'm going to go ahead and move into the realm of makeup, which is the most exciting stuff. Um, let's start with my Fenty products. Now, initially, I was going to skip the foundation because I already have this foundation. I used it when it first came out and it was a little bit too dark, but this time I actually went and got matched. Now I have it on my face right now. I don't know if I love it. I'll have to see this video later when I'm editing um, to see if it looks okay on camera or if it looks okay in light. Um, but I got matched by one of the Sephora employees and it's the color 330. It matched my neck and it seemed a bit light in the bottle and actually when I put it on my face it also seems a bit light but once I blend it out it actually does somehow end up being the same color as my neck so I guess it oxidizes. Anyways we'll see how I like it. I feel this is going to sound strange but I feel like the first bottle I had was not as matte as this bottle. I don't know if the formula is exactly the same or not. I actually prefer extremely matte makeup so I'm excited to see how this wears throughout the day. Um, so yeah, so that's the first thing that I got. The next thing that I got is the banana setting powder. I've been wanting to try this for a long time and I'm finally at a point where I'm so low in my um, Too Faced setting powder that I can actually purchase another one. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is so luxurious. Isn't that so pretty? I feel like I'm a sucker for Fenty Beauty because of their packaging. I have everything Fenty Beauty. Every time she comes out with something, I buy it. Now, Rihanna, why did you come out with all those cool lip products after the Sephora sale? Okay, I was so excited when I saw those and then I saw that the date is like May 10th. And I was like, oh man. So I guess you want us to pay full price, which is cool. You know we don't do it because we support, but it would have been nice if we could have got it on sale. Anyways, I got the banana setting powder. I also got the bronzer, and this is the Sunstalker bronzer in Beige and Gal. I have it on my face right now. It's a very beautiful, buildable, matte bronzer. It's so pretty. Um, it definitely has a redder tint to it, which is my preference. It's warmer. Um, I really love it so far. I've been using this actually since I got it so about a week. Um, half of my order I actually got online. The other half I got in store. And as I mentioned before, I still am waiting for an order in the mail. So I got those. Oh, and I also got the concealer because I was curious about it. Now I have it on right now. I do kind of feel like it's creasing in the eye, under eye area. So I'm wondering if I should apply it with a brush rather than applying it with a sponge. And also if I should use um, my Too Faced setting powder just directly under the eyes and use the, uh, the banana powder for the rest of my face. I don't know, I'll play with it. But this is what it looks like. Same packaging, really, really beautiful and sleek. Also in the color 330. 
and let's see um, 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 um okay so that's it for Fenty Beauty now um, we're moving on to Urban Decay and I got the all nighter longwear mattifying weightless powder now this is supposed to be a waterproof setting powder I don't plan to test it by going swimming or anything with it this time but I did want to see if it helped with my production of oil during the day so when I'm outside with the kids and stuff if it would prevent me from getting super greasy so we'll see anyways I really love this packaging it's really beautiful um, so I love Urban Decay products pretty much everything that I've purchased I've been happy with so I don't doubt that this is a good product so I'm excited to try it out um, the next item is a replenish item. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I always try to buy this during the sale. Um, oftentimes Ulta will have like a 50% 50 50 off sale for this particular item. I missed the last one so I wanted to make sure I got a backup of this and I love it. It's pretty much the only setting spray that helps me stay matte. So I really love it a lot. Another thing I like about it too is that if I have on a highlighter, it doesn't take away the shine of my highlighter when I spray it on my face. However, the MAC matte setting spray, that one will take away my highlight shine and I don't like that. So I'm sold on this forever. <laughs> All right, the next thing in my haul is a benefit product. It is the Hula Caramel Bronzer. Now I love this guy. I love this guy so much. Okay, so I don't have it on my face right now. But I did have it on my face in my last video that I uploaded, which was the Camille Rose Naturals Val Lavender Wash and Go video. And if you've seen that video, this is the bronzer that I was wearing. I love it. It's very warm. It's much warmer and deeper than the Beijing Gal by Fenty Beauty. I've actually layered those two together and I really enjoy it. Both formulas are very nice. I got this rather than getting the Caramel Cutie with Fenty Beauty because I just was really curious about the formula. I've always wanted to try the Hula bronzers and my skin was just too brown for it so I was excited when they came out with more shades so I wanted to see what it was like. So I got that. Another benefit product that I got because I love it is the California blush. This is with the little case. I got the travel size because the big one was just ridiculous. I have so many blushes. There's no way I'm going to get through all that. Anyways, I got this because at some point I had bought one of those uh, blush kits and I ended up returning it because I had the regular Hoola bronzer, which was too light. And so I felt weird keeping it because all the blushes were not suited to my skin tone only this one was so I couldn't keep a whole palette for one blush So anyways, I got the travel size. I love it so much. It's very corally kind of orangey um, And it, I feel like it's perfect for summer. So I got that on the peachy coral Color scheme we're gonna go on to a liquid lipstick if you haven't tried the Sephora lip li liquid lipsticks You really should they're fantastic. They last on the lips for a really long time. They're very opaque I actually have most of the colors. I'm obsessed with the formula. I love it because it is matte and it does dry down um, So it's not going to smear all over my face, but it's very comfortable It does not hurt your lips when you wear it for too long. It's not overly drying. So that's the first color and this color is actually Oh, man, I ripped the paper off. It probably said it right on there It's one of the coral shades. I'll look it up and then I'll put it in the information section below the other color that I got is this one here, and it's more of a brownish red color. Um, this is a shade that I typically would gravitate to all year round. It's just one of my favorite shades, and so since I love this formula, I was really excited to see that they had this lipstick, so I purchased this one as well. Now, going along with this orangey theme that we have going, I saw this Smashbox lip gloss, and this one is Los Angeles, and the color is... Um, Michelada. I don't know if that's right, but the packaging on this guy is so pretty. Um, and the actual product is a really beautiful, sparkly orange lip gloss. And I am a sucker for lip gloss all year round, but especially in the summer. And the fact that it has this gold shimmer in it made me really excited, and I felt like I had to have it. It's one of those last minute walking past it, saw it out the corner of my eye, purchases, and I bought it on impulse. I usually do enjoy Smashbox lip gloss, so I'm hoping that that's a winner. Okay, now Sephora has come out with a lot of new products, and one of the things that I saw that they had was this really beautiful lipstick. I'm trying to see on here what they're called, but the packaging is silver. It's funny because it's very similar to the Fenty Beauty, only it's fatter. 
and this is like a really moisturizing lipstick I actually saw it on display and it looks so creamy can you see that so creamy I was like oh my god that's like the perfect like I'm just gonna throw on a lipstick real quick don't want a whole lot of color just want to make sure my lips are moisturized and have a little color to them with some lip liner anyways it's super moisturizing I'm so excited to have that guy as well it's almost like a hybrid between a gloss and a lipstick and I really love it the last item yes the last item that I have here on my table is the Kat Von D studded lip kiss um, lipstick and this one is in a go-go <sighs> this color first of all this packaging is great um, but this color is so up my alley it is a bright orange corally color oh my god it's almost like neon and I can't wait to wear it oh look at that it's so gorgeous this is my jam these colors all these colors right here are the colors that I wear on a daily basis so I'm really excited that I purchased all of these. I'm really excited to just test them out. And yeah, I'm really excited. I think I've purchased enough makeup for this month. Um, I do want to share with you some of the items that I am still waiting for. So let me pull up my cart on my phone so that I can share with you those items. Now, I believe that today is the last day of the sale, so if you're catching this video tonight, please do place your order online so that you're still eligible for the sale. So, the first thing on my list of things that I bought was the Benefit Cosmetics 24 Hour Brow Setter Shaping and Setting Gel. Now, I've been using that gel for a few weeks now and I absolutely love it. It's way better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This one actually cements my brows. They don't move or feather or change throughout the day. And I have some wild eyebrows. So the fact that it really just locks in my um, shape for the whole day makes me so happy. So I definitely needed to get a backup of that way I could get on sale. The next thing on the list is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Remover Cleansing Balm. Now I'm new to cleansing balms. I've been using the Clinique one now for a few weeks and I like it okay. However, I've been reading up <clears throat> and seeing so many positive reviews about the Pharmacy brand that I really want to try it out. I have tried other products from this brand that I really enjoyed. Now, the next thing is actually another Fenty item. I'm a fan. I don't know what to tell you. The Fenty Beauty Highlighter Afternoon Snack in Mo Honey. I have so many of her highlighters, but I find that I am more likely to use them as an eyeshadow than I am to use them on the face. This one, however, when I swatched it in the store, seemed like it was more appropriate for my face, so I'm really excited. Um, the next thing in here is the Sasha oh I don't even know how to pronounce this, Sasha Wan Scalp Shampoo. Now this is supposed to be for itchy irritated scalp. I'm really excited to try it. I've been struggling with that lately and the shampoo that I was using before that was just fantastic. Um, it's an as I am shampoo that you can get at Target. It stopped working and I get like that with some products like after I use them for a while they just don't work anymore. So I am really excited to test this guy out. It's kind of expensive because you're only getting 8.4 ounces and it's $28. So I'm really hoping that it works on my scalp. Um, the very last thing, I don't know if you can see it, I'll insert a picture, is the Peace Out, Peace Out Emergency Packs. So that was the acne dots that I was telling you about that go along with this line. So the packaging looks just like this, only the, the dots and chin strap things are specifically for acne flare-ups. All right, guys, that was my whole haul. I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw here today. I hope that all these products work out for me. For the most part, I'm pleased with what I purchased because I already have played with it and tested it. Um, but anyways, hopefully this helped you with making your decisions about what you'd like to purchase for the sale. If you like my makeup and you'd like to see how I applied my Fenty products as well as maybe some other Fenty products that I already own, please do put a comment in the section below and I'm happy to do that video for you. Um, uh, on another note, please check out my wash and go video that I recently posted using Camille Rose Naturals and give me any suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future. I personally love sharing these types of videos, but I'd like to be able to provide you what you're interested in. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.